English for teachers. Lesson ten: How to ask questions in English. Saifa, isn't it really important to ask questions? Yeah, it it's is. really important. If you cannot ask questions, you cannot continue talking. For example, your little sister is actually holding the camera here. Yeah. Now, uh, if we want to converse, if we want to talk, we need to learn how to ask questions in different ways. This is the only book, probably, in the country uh, where I have included eight types of questions in English. So let's get started. How many yeah. types of English questions are there? Eight types. Of eight types. What is the name of the first type? Yes, no questions. Yes, no question. Yeah, thank you. So, can you read the first example of yes, no question? Sure, sir. Fatima, are you okay? So, if I am Fatima and I should hear answer yes or no, right? Yeah. So, if a question demands yes or no answer, this is called yes, no question. For example, if I am asking, are you fasting? The answer will be yes. Or no, or no, right? So, if the questions demand yes or no answers, we call it yes no question. Now, is yes here back? What is the answer? Either yes, yes or no. Yeah. Have you finished? What may be the answer? Yes or no. Yeah. So I think you understood yes no question. Yes, sir. Now, the, what is the second type of question? W H questions WH or question. information question. Yeah, that is a very good thing. I mean, WH question most students and teachers of a country know, but we usually do not know. It is also called information question. Yeah. Let me tell you why it is called information question. Now, if I ask you a question like this, how are you? Can you say yes? No. Or if I say, what is your name? Can you say no? No. So you need to give some information. Information. Yeah. That's why WS question is also called information. Information question. question. So may I request you to read the four examples? Sure, sir. In order, please. What's your nickname? Where do you live? Live. So, oh, sorry. Where, where do you, do you live? What is the meaning of who did it to you? Do you have a connection to you? Do you have a connection to you? Do you have a connection to you? Something like that. Know, who did it to you? It's money. What do you think? To make cake, kurache. Eta, eta to make cake, kurache. Yeah. Byra baba ra zigesh kare kum. Or ekne ek to rokto berache. Eta to make cake, kurache. Who did it to you? Yeah. Now, ekhon amra jodi bolli, what's your nickname? In any form, can you say yes or no? No. You can't. You need can't. to give information, right? Yeah. Where do you live? You cannot say no or yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> They'll consider you that mad. Okay, now thank you. Thank you. You're doing really, really nicely. Thank now, you. Now let's move on to the third number of question. What is that question? Tag questions. Tag question. The Americans they consider or they call it the question tag. I mean, they bring the question before question tag instead of tag question. So a tag question is a sentence where there is a statement and there is a small question attached or tagged with. With it. You got it? Yeah. I got chhe, it. Ekta, ta question, ekta, ekta, ekta sentence. The ekta part the statement. And a small question tag. Kora tha, tag means the one who is in the middle of the world. Tag. 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 Yeah. So, I mean, the question will occur. He is right, isn't he? Yes, he is. They are there, aren't they? They are not. He helped you, didn't he? No, he didn't. So, you see, we gave yes or no answer to these questions. Okay? Yeah. Now, the fourth question. What is the type? Polite questions. Polite question. May I request you to be louder, please? Sure, sir. Polite question. प्लीज তার মানে প্রত্যেকটা পলাইটনেস আছে আবার ধরো বিয়ে বাড়িতে গেছো দাওয়াত খেতে 
এখন আমরা একজন এসে বললো কি ওদের লেগেছে আপনাদের ইটস ইম্পলাইট ইজ ইয়া ইটস ভেরি ইম্পলাইট কিন্তু ওরা বলবে উড ইউ লাইক টু লেডিজ এন্ড জেন্টলম্যান উড ইউ লাইক টু ইট নাও এখন কিন্তু মানে ভালো লাগবে সবার কাছে সো আমাদের জীবনে এমন এমন সিচুয়েশনস আসে যখন আমাদের পলাইট থাকতে হয় সো মে রিকোয়েস্ট টু রিড সাম পলাইট কোশ্চেনস শিওর স্যার আই উড লাইক টু নো ইয়োর নেম স্যার মাই নেম ইজ ইয়া স্যার could you please tell me your name sure yes yes sir if you could tell the way to new market sorry i don't know could you tell how to get to new market mm, okay it's really nearby just get out of this house go to the main road turn left walk straight keep going and you'll find a uh, overpass and on the other side of this overpass new market is there okay so you yeah. see here polite questions how we ask usually okay now let's move on to the question type 5 what is that question type? spoken questions uh, so if I let me tell you in naam ta shol ami diyechi polite question namo amar da dai sir yeah spoken questions namo amar da bidesh ra bishesh kore native american british australian canadian era kore ki তোমার মুভি টুভির মধ্যে বা যখন তারা মেশে টেসে সব হ্যাঁ তারা করে কি হোয়াট হাউ এইগুলো লাস্টে বসিয়ে দেয় ইউ স্যাড হোয়াট হ্যাঁ ইউ ইউ ডোন্ট ওয়ান্ট টু ডু হোয়াট আমরা এরকম বাংলায় এরকম বলি না এই তুমি কি করতে চাও না তুমি কি খাবা না ধরো করলা ভাজি খেতে বলছি সরি হ্যাঁ খাবো না তা আমি ধমক দিয়ে বল তুমি কি খাবা না ফ্রেন্ড <laughs> মানে <laughs> 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 মানে আগে নাই সেটার পরে যদি কোশ্চেন মার্ক দেওয়া থাকে এটাকে সারপ্রাইজিং কোয়েশ্চেন বলে যেমন ধরো একটা গাদা স্টুডেন্ট এ ধরো ফার্স্ট হয়েছে তুমি শুনে মানে আশ্চর্য হয়ে গেছো ইউ বিকেম ফার্স্ট মানে কোয়েশ্চেনও করছো আবার এই ক্ষেত্রে এটাকে আমরা বলি সারপ্রাইজিং কোয়েশ্চেন ক্যান ইউ রিড দ্য সেন্টেন্সেস শিওর স্যার হি ডাইড হি ডাইড উনি মারা গেছেন তুমি বলো যে you live here and she failed মানে ফেল করার কথা না তারপর she failed how like this and the seventh type is double questions এখানে আমি বলে রাখি ইংরেজিতে ডাবল কোশ্চেন আসলে হয় না যখন একটা কোশ্চেন দিতে হবে যেমন আমি যদি বলি do you know what is the price অর্থাৎ কি তুমি কি জানো দাম কত তাই তো জি তাহলে do you know এটা একটা কোশ্চেন না আবার হোয়াট ইজ দ্য প্রাইস এটা আর একটা কোশ্চেন কিন্তু তাহলে এখানে কয়টা কোশ্চেন হলো একটা সেন্টেন্সের মধ্যে দুইটা ইটস নট অ্যালাউড ইউ হ্যাভ টু সে ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট দ্য প্রাইস ইজ ইজটা পরে চলে যাবে 
তাহলে এখন এখানে আমি ধরো এই উদাহরণ দেওয়া আছে চারটা রং কোনটা রাইট কোনটা কিভাবে এটা তুমি বলো নিজের নিজের কণ্ঠে বলো ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট ইজ হিজ নেম ইটস রং রাইট ইয়া ইটস রং সো উইল বি দ্য রাইট ওয়ান ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট ইজ হিজ নেম ইজ ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট হিজ নেম ইজ ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট হিজ নেম ইজ দ্য নেক্সট एग्जांपल ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য প্রাইস ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট দ্য প্রাইস ইজ ইয়া গুড নাও আমি তোমাকে একটু ধরি যেমন ধরো আমি বললাম তুমি কি জানো সোহার বয়স কত Do you know how old is Soha? Is it right? No, it's wrong. What will be the right one? Do you know how old how old Soha is? You are good. Very good. That's Thank you, sir. Yeah. তার মানে আমরা শিখতে এটা কিন্তু ঢাকা বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে ভর্তি পরীক্ষা থেকে আসে। এই যে রংটা দিয়ে দেয় বলছে এটা কি এটা সঠিক আর কারেক্ট করো এটা। তখন দেখে তো আর এটা তো সঠিকই আছে। তখন অনেকেই দেখা দেখা যেতে পারে না। মানে মিনিং কথা হচ্ছে যে ডাবল কোশ্চেন হওয়া যাবে না অ্যান্ড দ্য লাস্ট টাইপ ইজ কল এলিপ্টিক কোয়েশ্চেন এটাও আমি নাম দিয়েছি এলিপ্টিক কোয়েশ্চেন খুবই অহরহ ব্যবহৃত হয় বাংলা ইংলিশ সব জায়গায় যেমন ইংরেজিতে টিচাররা বল তুমি দেখবে টিচাররা একটা শব্দ বলে এরকম অঙ্ক করাচ্ছে ডান মানে তোমাদের লেখা টেখা হয়েছে আসলে উনি কোয়েশ্চেনটা ছিল আর ইউ ডান রাইটিং তুমি কি এখন খেতে চাও এটার সংক্ষিপ্ত করে কিন্তু ছোট্ট ছোট্ট ওয়ার্ড দিয়ে যে কোয়েশ্চেন গুলো হয় এটাকে আমরা বলি এলিপটিক এলিপটিক শব্দটি এসছে সংক্ষিপ্তকরণ থাকে বড় কোয়েশ্চেনকে ছোট্ট করা এটাকে বলা হয় এলিপটিক কোয়েশ্চেন তাহলে পড়ে শোনো অ্যাংরি মানে কোয়েশ্চেনটা ছিল আর ইউ অ্যাংরি আর ইউ অ্যাংরি আর বলল অ্যাংরি রেগে আছো ইয়া রাইট এন্ড বড় কোয়েশ্চেন কি ছিল ইজ ইট রাইট ওকে ওকে নো ডোন্ট ওবে ওকে ওকে একটা দেখো ওকে শব্দটা দুই ভাবে বলা যায় তোমাকে বললাম যে সাইফা তুমি কালকে এসো তুমি দেখবা টোন নিচে নেমে মনোযোগ দিয়ে বই পড়ছো আমি এসে বললো যে মনে হ্যাপ ঠিক চা খাবে তুমি বললা হম এই হুম এর মানে কি কি বলছো কি বলেছো তাই তো জি এবার আবার বললো চা খাবে তুমি বললা হম এর মানে কি ফিনিশড মানেটেশন ক্লাস কি Yeah. Who informed you about TESOL kids? Who WH is the manager? WH question. Will your will your friends come to the uh, easy English course? Yes, no question. yes, no question. Yes, no question. Right. I'd like to know your I'd like to know her name please, Bursha. Bodro. Polite question. Polite question, good girl. He's dead. Um it's surprising question. Surprising question. Yeah, no? Surprising question. Yeah. What? Ekta word diye question. Mane boro question er choto choto kora hoyeche. Elliptic question. Elliptic question. You are the youngest son, aren't you? Mm it's Duta ekta tag kora ache jinish question choto. Tag question. Yeah, tag question. Ebar dekho W is last to the ache. You did what? Um it was Kotha dekhe nao? was double question no 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 you did what double spoken, spoken questions 
You met who? It's also a spoken question. It's also spoken. Done? Um, elliptic question. Elliptic. You're very good. Can you tell me, Alidita, how old he is? It's uh, double question. Double question, yes. Yeah. How did you do this? Uh, WH question. WH question. In which room? Uh, the borrow actor question solo. In in which room is the class going on? Elliptic question. Elliptic question. Yeah. If you don't mind, please tell me your name. Polite question. Mm -hmm. How long have you been waiting for me? WH question. Exactly. Do you know where the God is? Um, it's double question. Exactly. May I be excused? Polite question. Can you tell me, Ayana, what I can do for her? Mm, it's... Dita, I can, can I... Can you tell me, Ayana, what I can do for her? Double question. It's double question. Should we waste our time just by chit-chatting? Um, it's WH question. No, uh, uh, answer correct. Should we waste our time just by chit chatting? Should we? No. Okay, question. <laughs> yes or no yes question. Or no. Who did this to you? WH uh, question. WH question. Aisha did what to you? It's a surprising question. Yeah. Isn't Tessal Bangladesh the best in, in, in teaching English? Answer it's it's yes or no? Yes or no question. Yes or no question. What does TESOL stand for? Um, it's... It's WH question? Yeah. Please, I know. TESOL stands for key. Teaching English? Teaching English? To speakers of other to languages. To speakers of other language. languages. Who Sorry. can tell? I think a voice da hoche bere jacche beshi mach khan diye. Okay, take a check. Uh, who can tell what my fault is? WH question. No, actually double question. Double question? Who can tell me? Who can tell? It's a question. What my what is my fault? It is Shankib. Oh, what is my yes, fault? yes. Isn't Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam the best human? Yes or no question? Yes or no question. Yes or no question. Yes or no question. How could you say that to me? What type it's, of... It's a double S question. Yes. Who is your favorite teacher? Why? It's also a double S question. Okay. Whose ideologies influence you the most? Double S question. Uh, is your country beautiful? Yes, no question. How do you say this in English? It's double S question. Can you define love? It's yes, no question. Could you please repeat that, Lamia? Is yes, no question, and also a polite question. What is the synonym of the word antonym? Double S question. Would you like to be with us? Is a polite question, also a yes, no question. Doesn't Tesol UK teach online? Is yes, no question. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so there are some other uh, questions. Let me ask you. You answer to these questions. What is your favorite food? Um, it's burger. Burger? Yeah. Cheeseburger? Um, there isn't any specific one. If anybody give, gives you a cockroach burger, what would you say? <laughs> I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> what is your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Do you watch movies? Not a lot. Not a lot. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. So I don't have any specific one. Uh -huh. What is your favorite place? My favorite place... It's Tessal Bangladesh. Yeah, it's <laughs> Tessal Bangladesh. It feels like home. What is your favorite song? Um, I listen to different type of songs. What is your favorite I mean, one? I don't have any favorite one, actually. You don't have any favorite one? <laughs> okay. Who is your favorite celebrity? Favorite celebrity? Mm -hmm. I think it's... Selena Gomez oh. and also Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah, they are good singers. Yeah. Let's talk about learning English. Is that okay? Okay. Is learning an easy or difficult language to learn? Is English? 
I think uh, it's it's both. Sometimes, sometimes, easy, sometimes. Uh, sometimes easy <laughs> difficult, and sometimes yeah. difficult. That's a tricky answer. How long will it take to master English? Is it possible uh, to master English in short time? Not really. Not really, we actually. We'll yeah. Need, we need at least six months. Yeah, at least six months. Yeah. Which English skill is the easiest out of four? Reading, speaking, listening, writing. Um, I think. For me, it's reading. Reading, okay. Yeah. And which English skill is the hardest? Speaking. Speaking. <laughs> yeah, no, speak I think nicely. it's speaking. Do you enjoy learning and speaking English? Yeah, I enjoy it very much. Okay, very good. Now, there is a text. I'm going to read it uh, and uh, you listen to it. So, okay, here sir. we go. Students, embrace the journey of learning, for it is the key that unlocks the doors to your dreams. In each lesson lies the potential to discover your own greatness. You are not here merely to pass exams. You are here to discover your passions, hone your skills and transform into the person you aspire to be. Education is the compass guiding you on this remarkable journey. Believe in your abilities, for within you lies an extraordinary force waiting to be unleashed. The classroom is your canvas, and your education is the brush that paints the masterpiece of your future. Challenge yourself to learn beyond the boundaries of textbooks. Very important, right? Yeah. Education is not just about facts and figures. It's about cultivating a mindset that can conquer any challenge life throws your way. The pursuit of knowledge is a thrilling adventure. Embrace each lesson. For every piece of wisdom you acquire is a stepping stone toward the fulfillment of your dreams. Yes, it's sir. really cool, right? Yeah, it's really so, cool. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with lesson 10. So, let's move on to lesson 11. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Bye. Yasir Ahmed and Saifa telling you bye-bye. Bye-bye.